All right, cool. So uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to set up the all-in-one SEO pack, which is pretty simple. All you need to do is log into your dashboard. I'm already logged in here, but that's slash wp-admin, of course. And then generally, you're going to put in your username and password, but it's stored here. What you're going to want to do is look over here in the menu of your dashboard and scroll down to plugins. Um, select add new. And then you're going to search for plugins. There are two. There's Yoast and there's All-in-One SEO Pack. I prefer All-in-One SEO Pack. You can go with each, either one you want. So do a search there, All-in-One SEO. And here it is right here. It's the one by Michael Torbert, Torbay, whatever. Um, install now is all you got to do. Click OK. And once the plugin is installed, you can activate said plugin. Uh, you'll see that it's up here along with some other plugins that are in here. And what you're going to need to do before this is actually going to work is you need to go to the admin page to enable and configure it. Um, scroll down to where you see plugin status. Right now it's disabled by default. You want to click enabled. Then you want to create a home title for that blog. If you notice, this is Denver Plumbing, Denver Plumbing website. Um, so we'll do Denver Plumbers Plumbing in Denver. Little little keyword stuffing for you there, but um, you know we're just trying to get through this fast. Home page description, something like the best in the world. Um, and then here where it says home keywords, comma separated, you don't really need to include that because Google no longer looks at meta keywords. It only looks at the home title and the meta description tags. Um, this title tag can be up to 70 characters and this home description tag needs to be less than 175. You can use the Google, uh, the um, the character counter here, the cut and paste, that's what it is, character counter, to figure out exactly how many characters you have for any text. Just calculate there, that's 45, so obviously we can add more to this, like say, um, denverplumbinginc.com. I, I like to do that sometimes, just add the URL. Uh, that's pretty neato. So 69 right under. So we copy paste, paste it back there. I'm gonna let you guys do the same for home description. There's no reason for me to go through that. And then um, that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, here, this is one thing that you, you wanna make a note of is that the page title format is going to have the page title automatically if you don't go into the all-in-one SEO pack and then the blog title there. Same with the post format. Um, you can change this like say for example you want your your blog title to go on every post or every page um, you can mess around with this and see how that goes. There's some other stuff in here that we don't really need to cover because um, for the basics uh, all you got to do is install it and then set up this particular page just for your home page. That's all we're doing right here. We have to do that in this particular settings admin section. Um, so we update the options. Now the next step is to go into the pages section and you notice here we've got SEO title, SEO keywords, and SEO description. These are three new categories that we're not previously available on your page's um, menu box here. So commercial plumber, we're in the page, um, we've got the content in here. Now if you scroll down, boom, there's the all-in-one SEO pack. Now this is the area that you need to edit and modify for each individual page other than the home page. You don't have to do this for the home page because we already did it in the other menu. Um, but here, you know, this is about commercial plumbers, commercial plumbing. And of course, we're in Denver. 
So we want to put that in. The reason that this is so cool um, is because you can put in a specific title that's highly keyword focused and keyword dense um, and then still have a, a more user friendly um, name when it comes to actually naming the page. So you don't necessarily want to put like commercial plumber in Denver, Colorado, commercial plumbing, yada, 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 like we're going to do in the title tag here. Um, and that's why the all-in-one SEO pack works so neato. Anyways, then you can add your description here. And this actually gives you a character counter within the all-in-one SEO pack. So once you've got it done, then you can click edit. You can view the page. And this up here, you can see that it's added the title tag. If you want to check to make sure um, that you've got the title tag and the meta description tag in there, this works. You don't really have to check it. But if you just want to see it in action, you can right click, view page source. And this is going to give you the code for that particular website. And you can see right here, the title tag is what we just put in, commercial plumbers in Denver, Colorado, and then that pipe and then Denver Plumbing Inc automatically puts in the name of the website and where it's grabbing that from is here in your general settings the name of the website if you didn't want that included over here if you didn't want to have the name of your website to be uh, appended to each one of these title tags I, I have it here because it shows up there but if you didn't want it to be appended to every title tag you could just delete it from right here you could just get rid of it save changes whatever or, of course, you can go back into your all-in-one SEO settings down here and remove blog title. Um, so really, that's it. I mean, that's the long and short of it. That's how you install and make work the all-in-one SEO pack.